Hey everybody, do you know what this thing is? This is a catheter leg strap and what you do is you, uh, we'll see if I can do it. It's one I actually used. You wrap this around your leg, see and it has Velcro on it. And then you get it Velcroed like this. Oh God, I'm ruining it now, which is fine. Then this goes like this and then the catheter goes here where my finger is, see that? And then you take this and you put it through here. And then you take this and you Velcro these down. And look, now my finger is stuck in there. And that would be the catheter tube in there. And you do that so that uh, the catheter won't pull on your junk and hurt you. So it's it'll pull on your leg first, right, and warn you. Now the problem with these leg straps is that they sometimes fall down your leg. So they're not always helpful. They're not my favorite things. I like the thing that sticks to your leg called a stat lock. But it doesn't really matter what that's called because I don't have a Foley catheter anymore. And I wanted to tell you the story of when I went to the clinic today to get it removed. And there was a lot of drama because, I'll tell you, I did not want to leave with a Foley catheter. And they do a little test to make sure that you can pee and empty your bladder mostly. And I passed that test, but I didn't think I was going to because I have MS and I thought maybe something would be. So I was doing this thing where I was saying like, if I need to learn to self cath with a just a regular manual catheter, I will do that. And I think I asked my nurse, like, is that a thing that's done? And she said, sometimes. And I'm like, I think, did you tell me about that? She's like, I didn't tell you about that. I'm like, who told me about that? I'm like, did I just make this up and now I'm obsessed with it? And I was like, we're like, am I, do I appear to be self obsessed with self cathing? But let me explain why that even happened. Like that may have been what happened. I mean, I've known other MS people that had to self cath. I don't even know if it's called self cat, self cathing. Let's call it that now though. We'll invent a term if we haven't yet. And the nurse said that is sometimes something that is done, so I wasn't way off base. But here's why it was a big deal to me. Because I was not going to leave that clinic with a Foley catheter today. And I would have done anything that man can do or that the human race can do to not have a Foley catheter. Luckily, getting my catheter out went well and I'm going to the bathroom normally now. And I feel great and it is so awesome. But seriously, I would have done anything. I had three weeks, that's a long time. And I just wasn't gonna have it. I wasn't gonna have a, that catheter for any longer because I just couldn't deal with it. Um, and I'll tell you, like, it's not the worst thing in the world to have a cath Foley catheter, but it is ever present, right? And it is ever present in the most uncomfortable of ways. And uh, while you can deal with it, you sure don't want to. And there are some people that have Foley catheters all the time, and I'm not sure exactly why that happens, but I feel for those people. Because some the people I've talked to only had them for a few days and still managed to hate them so much. And I try not to give my doctor or the nurses, I know nobody's doing me wrong, right? But I'll tell you, that was not... You know, I'll tell you, I like to make these videos interesting, so I'm going to tell you a thing I did. So I'm not a sexual deviant at all or anything like that, but I do know that there are people who, like, use catheters as sex toys and stuff. And um, I did not do that, of course. Well, I guess I did in that I had one in, but not for that. <laughs> the doctor put it in, not me. So I just looked up some internet searches on these people because I just wanted to see if they had information that could help me. <laughs> and they had a little bit of information that could help, like not maybe what I wanted, but I did, like it's one thing, oh gosh, this is so, but this is how I should make this video. This is what makes this video interesting. When you see people purposely using them, and maybe using them in odd ways or whatever, or doing things with them, 
all of a sudden you become a lot less concerned that this thing is going to blow up your body and ruin your life. You're like, well, if they're doing that with it, then my simple doing nothing with it is probably going to be fine. <laughs> right. And I'll tell you, after a few weeks with one of those, you kind of need to know that everything's going to be OK. Right. That's going to be fine. And it's like, I'm not doing that. So cool. And uh, yeah. And I don't regret doing that search. Like people do some complex, I'm not going to say anything, but people do with multiple and yeah, uh, people are weird, right? I am not weird. I mean, I'm like, do what you want to do that's safe or whatever. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the reasons I make these videos is because I know there's people out there so many people that go Foley catheters and not that many people talk about it. And there's this thing you learn when you grow up gay, that if you don't have pride in the things in your life, that those things will be negative factors in your life. And so when I started making videos about bladder cancer and I made previous videos about Foley catheters, not as many, there's another guy on YouTube who's made a lot more. Um, I made those so that I wouldn't be as much of a victim to that Foley catheter and that I could potentially help people who had one who needed to know that things were going to be okay and somebody else had one that was a rational person, you know. I had mine for three weeks and most of you watching this who would have a Foley catheter would only have it for a much shorter period of time. And you know what, it's going to be okay. And uh, well, I mean. I can't say everything's going to be okay, but probably it's going to be okay with the Foley catheter, <laughs> right? That part will probably be okay. Uh, like usually if you have a Foley catheter, it's not Foley catheter that's your primary concern at that point, except that it kind of is because like I said, it's ever present. And I didn't find a way. L listen, okay, so there's two things I did here. Oh my gosh, I have stuff. One is I have lidocaine gel, right? I, I didn't get this until I went to the hospital the second time I asked for it. This will help if your Foley catheter is hurting you. You can use that lidocaine gel. The other thing here, I love it. It's, it's only been like less than a day without it. That's why this stuff just happens to be sitting next to me. I didn't even plan this. Is this lube, right? Get this lube. Um, the lube is because if you're a man, at least, and potentially a woman, I don't know, of course, but the Foley catheter kind of gets stuck a little bit and puckers in weird ways. And that lubricant will help. And your nurses and doctors, these two things, let me hold them up. These two things, they know about these, right? And so when you say, hey, can I get some of this for this reason? They'll be like, uh, yeah, like, Totally. Like they won't be like, oh, are you sure? This you have to ask for from the doctors because it has to be prescribed. But they will also be like, yeah, that those two things are like the least of our concerns, right? There's nothing controversial about those two things. Oh, my throat's getting dry and that lube's not going to help. So um, <laughs> that's not what it's for. Um, yeah. And I think I just made this video because I just wanted to talk about like get get myself to a better place, you know, post. I mean, oh, my gosh, I can already tell you today has been so different since I got my full catheter out so much better. And uh, yeah. Oh, another thing you'll get that's no shock to them, but I didn't get the first time. I didn't get that lube or the lidocaine gel the first time. These, these are bath washes. They're just washing wipes. You should wash your area, right, with these. They'll give you these at the hospital. And if they don't ask for them, they know what these are. They should be giving them to you. They should have given them to me the first time. They did not. So <coughs> no, my throat is itchy from the surgeries because <coughs> they put that tube down your throat. <coughs> Now I gotta go. I have some water here, but I'll talk to you later.